Hi developers, my name is Ashraf Ben Alaya and today we are going to see in this new video how to host a React static application into Azure static website step by step. So follow me. So first of all I have created this application here inside my laptop inside my folder do not waste a lot of time I use the command npx create react application demo application here and you have a static um, a react application let's start this application to see what we have cool here we have a simple react application Next, we are going to create a simple uh, repository inside GitHub and later we are going to create a static website using Azure. So let's go. Okay, so here I created a GitHub repository for our project. What are we going to build exactly? We are going to push our React application inside this repo and we are going to build uh, a trust connection between Azure Static Web Application and GitHub Actions. Uh, so each time we push our project to GitHub, uh, it, a build will be started here inside GitHub Actions. And if the build goes well, it will deploy the project to Azure Static Web Application. So. Uh, first of all, let's um, push our uh, application to uh, this repo. So, let's stop this. Yes, or yes. Okay, now uh, we need to push our project. Let me just copy this or Let's commit first. First push. Now uh, we have one branch which is uh, the master. And here we have our remote origin. And we are going to push our project. Cool. Great. So here we have pushed our project. If I refresh this web page, here we are going to see our project. Cool. Now I'm going to build a static web application uh, inside Azure. So if we go here, If you want to know more about uh, static web applications, you can check my website uh, ashrafbenalaya.com where you will learn uh, more about it and uh, I will share under this video a blog post about it. So let's create here a new static web application. So let's choose the static web uh, test group here, uh, my resource group. Let's give it a name. I'm going to put the same name here, it's not the best practice, but just for demo, West Europe. Here we are going to build the trust connection between GitHub and Azure. Cool. Let me choose my organization, which is my profile name. Our repository here. And we only have one branch, which is the master. Cool. Here, uh, for build details, we can build for static web applications or static websites. You can build Angular project, React project, Civil, uh, Vue.js, um, Blazor application, Gatsby, Hugo, Vue.js, and more th than that, we can uh, deploy this application and consume web service from API um, developed by using uh, Azure functions. We will do this later in another video using Blazor. So for our today demo, we are going to use React. So if you have uh, an API, you can put it inside API. 
and for the app artifact location is going to be the build uh, project here and the app location it will be inside the github folder now our uh, review is fine we are going to create this and we are going to see uh, that when after I create this uh, a new uh, file will be added uh, here uh, YAML file to uh, initialize the connection between Azure and GitHub and build the project so let me create this okay the deployment is I think finish it right now cool let me refresh this okay here a new folder have been created github workflow which is uh, a CI uh, add Azure static web, web uh, apps workflow file if you open this we have a YAML file here that contain our build uh, for our project if you go to actions here we already there is a new build uh, have started okay 35 four seconds ago if we open this actually we can see the build and deploy job that have started so um, what what we win here we are just going to create our application do our code and push it to github and github it's going to build the application and deploy it to azure static website cool as you can see here github is installing the production dependencies when we talk about azure static websites we talk about free ssl uh, and a lot of other stuff that you can read inside the blog post okay this is gonna take a few uh, minutes let me stop here those are just some warnings as you can see here the build have been done successfully we have some warnings but finish it let's go to our application let's go to open our URL by click, clicking here and as you can see our uh, application is hosted now inside Azure okay now let's uh, do some updates maybe here uh, I'm going to uh, open the solution using um, Visual Studio Code so let me clear this code cool so here we have our package JSON our uh, node models first of all I'm going to pull the project because github have created a new uh, file inside it so let me get pull and here inside the git in your I'm going to put this so it can be published okay now I'm going to uh, do some changes here inside our maybe um, uh, app application so here we have edit source and let's go to our application and see what so here I have edit source app JS and save to reload the reload I'm going to change this to welcome to our demo cool let me clear this and I'm, I'm going to push this let me push this to our repo okay so as you can see I pushed this to my project 
let's go to our uh, code here and as you can see 18 seconds ago I have made some changes inside source and inside app.js let's go to actions as you can see here a new um, build have been triggered by the push let's open this and as you can see we have a new build started here we are going to wait a few seconds let me pause the video well as you can see here the deployment is complete and we don't have any errors great I like to see green marks okay here our job have finished it let's go to our application and refresh the page oh great welcome to our demo this is great thank you for the coffee and here by a single push we have published our application we didn't have to do any other thing all you have to do to is show some changes inside our code and github actions have made the build and have deployed the application to azure we don't have to bore to worry about any other thing so um, before we finish this let's uh, check the new file that have been created by github and azure as you can see here it's a yaml file called azure static web app green done let's open the file as you can see here it's a configuration configure um, to push on branch master here um, pull request and the job is to build the application each time it's pushed so it's build and deploy and here uh, we have azure static web apps uh, api token that was um, created here and uh, its action is to upload the file to azure static website cool uh, we can find the secret inside uh, the project here i think inside settings uh, manage access maybe let me create my password let me write my password and not here um, deploy key integration yes it's here as it applies and it's already configured cool before we finish this uh, do not forget that you can create your azure free account today and you will have a 12 month of free services here people can create starting a business in three months in 12 months i think you can learn a lot so this video was about hosting a static react application next time we are going to host angular application uh, next js application and we are going to host a, blaz a blazer application and also uh, a blazer application with an api using um, azure functions so see you too uh, till the next video Thank you.